Today, I have a big task to accomplish. My cabinets are in desperate need of a good cleaning and decluttering. There is something about going through every drawer and cabinet and removing things that no longer have a place or don't belong and then making things function better. We are definitely in a season right now where things need to change slightly. I have twin boys who are now getting into cabinets and drawers, so I need to move a few things around so that I'm not constantly picking up every single lid I own off of the floor. But with any productive day in the kitchen, first some coffee and breakfast are a must. So my goal today is to deep clean each drawer and cabinet, put things back in order, and remove any clutter or unnecessary things in the process. So I invite you to join me as we accomplish all of these things. So first off, the silverware drawer is where we will begin. I simplified this to only have silverware and spatulas, peelers, a bottle opener, and a little basket of bag clips and a few wine corks. Before we put anything back, I want to make sure everything in this drawer is clean and remove any of those things we don't need. It is so easy to accumulate little extra things here and there that we bring into our kitchen and we really need to take time to reevaluate what is in our kitchen and ask ourselves if it's still serving a purpose and if it's not to get it out of there. plates and I store a lot of extra jars too. On the top shelf I keep a basket of extra bottles and I have another basket with our egg cooker and some funnels just for easy access. There were just a few things I needed to tidy in the pantry. If you're looking for more pantry organization inspiration, check out this video that I'll place up here in the cards for a full pantry declutter and organization video. a few things around and I ended up deciding to store some utensils and things on the wall in the pantry. Our grilling utensils had been taking up a lot of space in the drawer. We don't use them super often and so I just put a few nails in, hung them up there. In the pantry I store all of our small kitchen appliances like our blender and food processor and our griddle up here as well as all of our food and canned goods. I keep a small basket of potatoes and onions on the floor. I also store our mop and our mop pads along the wall to optimize storage in this space. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing pantry, but it does function well and meets our needs because right now we just aren't in a place to get all brand new containers that match one another. The next drawer is kind of the drawer that needs regular revisiting. This is where I just keep all of the little kitchen tools, except for those few that are in with the other utensils. So just cleaning the, the trays here for that. In this drawer, I keep a small dish of measuring spoons, then I stack my measuring cups. I'm keeping all of my bread making tools together, and then just using all of the other compartments to store all of my other tools like a pizza cutter and can opener, a garlic press, and I put some of the less used items towards the back. This next cabinet is probably one of my favorites. It just functions so well. I moved the lids here. They were previously in a drawer which my boys continually pulled apart. So on the bottom shelf I keep glass mixing bowls and large storage bowls as well. On the next shelf is our glass storage containers. 
and the top shelf has a set of nesting stainless steel bowls and some plastic storage containers, many of which are being washed right now. So there's a little extra room in this cabinet. Now I have these two cabinets on either side of our dishwasher. On the left cabinet, I keep a small basket of larger kitchen tools like my hand mixer, my cheese grater, I don't use these daily, so I keep them at the back of the cabinet. And then I have a set of strainers and plastic measuring cups that I store in the front. The right side is where I store all of my cake and bread pans as well as our toaster. I keep a canister of all-purpose flour and oatmeal on our countertop as well as our stand mixer, sometimes a basket of fruit as well, usually a basket of fruit. And I'm okay keeping these things on my counter because we use them frequently throughout the week. I try to keep what's on my counters to a minimum because for me visual clutter just is overwhelming to my brain. I don't have a lot of counter space and so keeping it clear of things and clutter really helps when I'm preparing food. So on the other side of our kitchen we have our oven and drawers for storage bags, the boys dishes, towels. And I'm also going to show you where we keep all of our spices, pots and pans, and coffee cups, things like that. But like I said, I needed to rearrange these drawers slightly because I moved those lids out of the bottom drawer into the cabinet. And then I ended up turning the bottom drawer into really just a drawer of random things for the boys to play with. There's a lot of time where I'm working in the kitchen and they like to get into things. So I just put all of our little empty spice jars and things in that drawer for them. And at some point it'll probably be a space where I can store other kitchen tools for them to have access to. But right now we are just still in the playing in the kitchen phase. It looks so much better here. I put all of our baggies and storage things in that top drawer then all of our towels and a drawer for all of the boys, cups and utensils, bibs and bowls. And like I said, that bottom drawer is just random things for them to have access to. Giving everything a really good wipe down and our oven desperately needs to get cleaned. I only had time to clean the oven door, but to do this, I used Norwex's cleaning paste and the little thing I'm scrubbing with is called a spearnet and it works really great to scrub off all of that caked on gunk. I will put a link in the description box below of all the tools that I use to get this oven cleaned. It really went pretty quick. I like to change up the countertop setting periodically, so I put all of our kitchen utensils into two canisters, one of wooden utensils and the other of metal or plastic. I also set up this little best of station with salt and pepper and oil, things that I'm just reaching for really regularly and wanted just right there at arm's reach. All of my other spices are stored in this tiered rack in the cabinet to the left of the stove. I also keep oven mitts and trivets here as well. And in the top shelf, I just store larger containers of spices that I often refill from. Above the microwave, we have this cabinet where I store cookbooks. To the right of the stove is kind of our coffee bar area. I keep our coffee pot and a mug tree on the counter. And then in this cabinet, I keep it very simple with coffee filters, coffee grinder, beans, tea, and extra coffee mugs and wine glasses. I have this little area behind my sink where I keep mini spatulas. Lately, liked having a little candle just to light while I'm doing dishes. I have this small mini drawer right next to the sink and it has been perfect for my dishcloths and this small little cabinet for all of our baking sheets and cutting boards. It is just the perfect fit. So the last area that we need to tackle is under the sink. 
I keep this area very minimal, but it does need a good cleaning because naturally something can spill all over the bottom of everything. But I keep a garbage can for recycling in this cabinet, which takes up most of the space, which is actually a really good thing because then it's really easy to keep clean. But I keep an extra drying rack and a few extra Norwex cleaning items bottle brushes, drain plugs, things like that. I am very pleased with how the kitchen turned out. It just feels so fresh and clean. Everything has a place, it's functioning well. I'm sure there will be changes as our needs change, but taking the time to reevaluate, to see how things are working, what things are needed, taking out the things that are not needed is so important to me. So I hope this video has inspired you in your kitchen as well. As always, check back here every Friday for a new video related to homemaking and Montessori. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.